take a look at Bitcoin. This morning it is uh, uh, around $36,000, but it fell below 33000 yesterday, first time since July. And we're talking about a decline of 50 percent from its all-time high, which was reached back in November. You want to uh, avoid Bitcoin and other risky <laughs> assets, or you want to see this as an opportunity, yeah. Ryan? What do you think? No. Well, first off, it's been painful, no pun intended, given my last name. Um, and this is something I think, you know, we've talked about on your show a lot. Dennis and I, not only charming and insightful as well, you have know, talked about Bitcoin for a long time being a place you don't want to be. And I think it just comes down to, like, if you take the Internet, right, take Web 1.0. By 2004, the Internet had been around for a while. Um, we had a billion people using the Internet. Well, Bitcoin's been around for... Like close to 13 years, and you only have about 200 million people maybe speculating or using Bitcoin. And if you just look at the transactions, um, if you look at literally, you have like 17 billion transactions are done on Visa every month. If you look at one of the bigger, uh, I guess it's called BitPay, one of the bigger crypto processors, they're doing like 66,000. So I think the bottom line is the ad adaptation here, given the size of the market, just really hasn't caught up with the size of the market. It's, it's just not happening. Right, the way we would expect it. And that's the way I look at it is like, hey, even though we were in a bubble with the web 1.0 with dot com stocks, we were using the internet and we're not really <laughs> using cryptocurrency for anything, you know, that actually has any sort of purpose in society. So I think that is a long term problem. And I think what you see right now is kind of the tale of two markets because disruptive technologies have just gotten hammered here. I think when I talked about Tesla on your show a couple of weeks ago, that might have been the top. I blame myself. Um, and you're starting to see all that sell off very aggressively here. Now, I agree with Dennis um, to some extent. You know, we are seeing a correction. He called it. Got to give him props for that. But I still think this is a bull market. Um, if you look at value stocks, cyclical stocks are holding up extremely well here. Commodities are up this year. And if you look at it historically, no matter what the Fed does, we don't know 100 percent. We know rates are going higher. We know with inflation, stocks do well when interest rates go up. So I think you can't sit in cash. That's the place you don't want to be. So I think right now you've got to be more discerning. You've got to own your cyclicals. You've got to be diversified. But I wouldn't be out of the market here. Disrupt, disruptive technology might be over. I'm not sure if the trend's over yet. Um, and you can vote on my poll this morning if you think it's a bull or bear market on my Instagram poll. But I think it's a bull market. You've got to be invested. All due respect, Mr. Gartman.